Hey, it's Beth from FuelByFiction.com. It has been forever since my last video. If you've watched any of my videos before, you'll have noticed that A, it's been a while since my last one, B, got a haircut, and C, new glasses. I'm going to BEA next week and I'm really pumped about it. I've never been to a book convention before or really any kind of convention before. I've also never been to New York City, so I am so excited. Book Expo America is next week. I'm going on Tuesday to New York City. Um, it's from Wednesday to Friday, and then there's Book Con on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, and I am so excited because I am going to all five days. Honestly, I'm really pumped about Mindy Kaling, but um, Mindy is writing another book, and it's coming out in the fall, and she's going to be at both BEA and Book Con. Uh, BEA, she's going to be signing arcs of her book. I'm so pumped. I have to get that. have to, have to get that. <laughs> and then um, during Book Con, her and BJ Novak are doing a panel, and I'm so excited. I'm going to, I'm all over it. I'm so excited. Um, but like I said, I've never been to a convention, and I've never been to New York City. It is so exciting. Uh, I'm a little nervous. So if you have any tips... Um, about visiting New York City or BA if you've been before, please share them with me. I know it's, it's pretty close to go time. Other stuff has been going on. I, I did the Battle Books read -along. Um, If you follow my blog, you saw that. It was pretty sick, so I didn't get that much read, but I did read a few things. I did a wrap-up on my blog, and I'll link that below. Also, in the last little while, I went to dinner with Lyndon McIntyre, which was so cool. He is um, a famous Canadian broadcast journalist and author. His book, The Bishop's Man, won the Yellow Prize before, and he was up for an Atlantic Book Award for Punishment, which is his latest novel. Um, I read it. It's amazing. You should totally read it if you like literary fiction. Um, yeah, I had dinner with him for work, and it was so cool. I did a post on it on my blog, and I'll link that below as well. A couple of other exciting things that are coming up in the next little while is I have a couple of book tours on my blog. Um, the next two books I'm doing, I'm so excited for. So the tour I'm hosting on June 9th is Second Life by S.J. Watson. His first book, Before I Go to Sleep, I read it and I fell in love with it. It was so good. So good. I love psychological thrillers and if you like psychological thrillers, definitely read that. It was also, I think last year it was made into a movie, I think with Nicole Kidman, with Nicole Kidman and Colin Firth. I haven't seen it yet, but totally gonna watch that. So it's coming out in June. And if you are from Canada or the US and you stop by my blog, you can enter for a chance to win a finished copy of this book. I don't have my copy of it yet, but on July 1st, otherwise known as Canada Day, I'm hosting a stop on, on the tour for probably my most anticipated release this year, and that is The Invasion of the Tearling. It's the second book in the Queen of the Tearling, I don't know, series, uh, duology, trilogy, I have no idea. I don't know how many books there's gonna be, but I'm so excited. I wrote the first one last year when it came out, and I loved it. it so again, I'm hosting the stop for The Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johansson on July 1st. And you will have a chance, if you're from Canada or the US, to win a finished copy of it if you just step, if you stop by my blog. Since I'm doing like updates and stuff, I'll let you know kind of like what I've been reading lately. During Bout of Books Readathon, I picked up Solace by Gail Carriger. Carriger? Carriger? I don't know. And I was obsessed with this book. It is so good. It's like a paranormal, urban, steampunk, fantasy, romance. I don't know. Anyway, it is so good. So once I finished that, I wanted something else kind of like it. I ended up just going on like a paranormal binge. You know, I'm just gonna do like a mini haul for you all right now. So what I'm reading right now is Cry Wolf by Patricia Briggs. I don't know. I love this book. It is so good. Um, although I do super a lot recommend it. You do need to read the novella before this one, just called Alpha and Omega. That's the series that this is. But you you definitely need to read that first. I just got it on my Kobo for two ninety nine and I read it, and then dove into this. I also grabbed Written in Red by Anne Bishop. Um, Second hand, I got Red Dragon by <laughs> Thomas Harris. This is not an urban paranormal fantasy, <laughs> but. <laughs> It sounds really good, and um, this is a book that the show Hannibal's based on. I also got Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice, secondhand. I got Dead Witch Walking by Kim Harrison, again, another secondhand pickup. Um, this one has really good ratings on Goodreads, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna read that. Two ninety nine, dollars totally. I also got Dead Until Dark by Charlene Harris. The first book in the Suki Sacco series, and it's the series that the show True Blood's based on. I've never watched True Blood, don't really have any desire to watch it. Um, but this book sounds pretty good, so I'm gonna give it a try again secondhand. It's pretty short. If I don't like it, then whatever. 
I also got the first book in the Dresden Files by Jim Butcher, but I can't find it. <laughs> so it's called Stormfront or something, and it's like a Harry. It's an urban fantasy about like this wizard detective, I guess. It's, apparently, it's super popular. It's got really good ratings, and it sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna check it out once I find it. <laughs> Last, I got Moon Calls by Patricia Briggs. Um, that's the same author that wrote Cry Wolf. Um, this is in the same world. This is her Mer the first book in her Mercy Thompson series, which is her series that came before Alpha and Omega, set in the same world. Um, and Mercy has actually been mentioned a couple times in um, Cry Wolf. Hopefully that did not spoil me for this series. But anyway, another werewolf one. I'm really digging it. Yeah. I've also noticed that a lot of um, urban fantasy and paranormal books have like really like cheesy animated covers. If you've read any of those books that I mentioned, let me know what you thought of them and also which ones you think I should pick up first because I'm like almost done Cry Wolf and I don't know what to read next. <laughs> this was like just a random mishmash of information and I don't know. Again, like I said, if you're going to be EA, let me know. I'd love to meet up with you. Other than that, you can find me on peoplefiction.com. That's my blog. I'm also on, like I said, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm on Instagram a lot. I'm also on Goodreads. There'll be links either below or like on my about page or on my blog, really. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Um, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to check out your channel as well. If you want to link, feel free to link that up. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll talk to you later. Bye.